Yo, it's cracking. It's the biz. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on, everybody, man? Letting people filter in, filter in at the 9.30 p.m. mark, Central Time. It's your boy, Biz, St. Louis, Missouri. You already know what it is. Glad everybody can make it in. Let's say, oh, well, Stella D is here first. Early, LOL. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it. Testotic slash multiple aquariums. <laughs> Hence the title of the uh, of the stream tonight. I was uh, it was definitely um, influenced by uh, pestotics, and we'll definitely get into pestotics in a little in a little while here. All right, rounded Rob Double R man, what's cracking, man? Thanks for coming through, man. I haven't seen you in a minute. Hope everything is good with you and yours in this. Um, in this uh in this climate <laughs> that the world is in right now larry d thanks for coming through man appreciate you all my people in here man with more than one tanks multiple tanks man i came to came to kind of kind of put it down man see what we could see what we can tell the folks out there from my my remote control Cool. Can't stay long, gotta work 4.30 Okay, that's good, Randy Rob I appreciate you for coming through 4.30, that's uh, it's quite early to have to go to work You should probably probably been in bed <laughs> I'm glad you came through, Randy We'll definitely always be on replay I'm um, pretty sure you are uh, well, while you're here, Randy, before you go, man, if you got multiple tanks, we're just talking about maintaining multiple tanks and, and things that you have to worry about. So if you want to give something before you bounce, then that's cool. Re, re, rebuilding our brand, that's Melly Mel. Thanks for coming through, Melly Mel. The ROB. Hey, man, Melly Mel has some, some dope shirts. Man, they've been they've been logoing it out on Instagram, man. So definitely go check out Rebuilding Our Brand, man. If you're looking for a uh, for a dope shirt shirt to just kind of rock with, I love it. You're we back in the place, baby. Back in the place. Gonna go. On. Want to get hit for the copyright from Kid Cuddy, but uh, definitely wanted to knock that in there real quick. So, yeah, man, how's everybody doing, man? I'm glad that you can um, come in and uh, join me this evening. And uh, hopefully, we get into some stuff, man. We're going to get into some stuff. I'm definitely going to ask you guys some questions. Maybe you guys have some answers. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Randy Rob says, put it on the calendar when you did water changes, what tank it was. It's number one. I love it. You got to definitely know when and get into some sort of routine. So I love that. We're going to revisit that when we get into the lineup. Uh, for sure, Melly Mel. So yeah, hey, um, Stella D, I just came from the zoo today. You definitely have to um make a reservation, but I'm gonna tell you what. I know that the COVID thing sucks and everything else. I wonder if I need to put on another light. Is everybody good out there? Should I throw on another light? So the light should pop on in a minute. 
3000 is in the building. So, yeah, I just came from the zoo today. I'm actually did a uh, video there. Um, so be ready for that to pop up. Um, the biz at the zoo. And um, I know the COVID thing is kind of like the new normal and everything masked up and, you know, six feet apart. But for some for some spots, man, we part we were able to get a parking spot at the zoo right in the front. It seemed like we were the only ones in the zoo. Um, you saw different people like here and there, but not crowded. If you wanted to go check out the stingrays or something like that, you could walk right up to the line, get your ticket. It was like not packed. If you wanted to ride the train, plenty of plenty of ways to ride the train when nobody hardly on the train. Now, that could have been one or two things. It could be because I went on a Monday at like one o'clock. <laughs> so, you know, people who were at work were at work. And that could be the reason why it was it was not as crowded. But it was definitely like some people there, but not 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 crazy. I think the thing will be kind of like. I wonder if Six Flags is the same way. Will you be able to just kind of get on rides, no crowds, maybe have a reservation? They only allowing so many people in the park at a time. Um, that might be the <laughs> that might be kind of <laughs> the coolest thing about it so far. But uh, hate that it had to have a pandemic for people to kind of you know get the sanitation thing under control, man. Being being um, safe, but um, I definitely enjoyed it, man. It was. <laughs> It was something else. Um, Salty Reef, the Salty Reef is in the place. Did you um, did you DM me at Salty so that we could get, so we can discuss some um, some um, salt water something? Because I am really trying to see what we got going. I went to the grocery store for the first time since February. I'm proud of myself. Oh. She been gardening or something, just been eating like turnips and um collard greens or something, man. Dang, this just is like we go to like the grocery store every Monday, but like I'm feeding a household, so we gotta get there every week. Oh, look, salty, do it at your own time, man. I've got nothing but time, man. So Whenever you got time, DM me, man. It's gonna be cool, man. Um, we'll definitely get into it. So, just need to know what I need to look at, what I need to prepare for. I want to get myself kind of up on on the whole salt, salty thing. I really wanna, I really kind of wanna brighten up or dim up this tank. Looking for my. Where's my clicker? Oh, dude. <laughs> it's right here the whole time. Oh, it's okay. it's okay. Let's see what we have. a little bit better. I use Instacart delivery service. Oh, okay. I see that. That's what's up. Yeah, so Larry D, I know you have multiple tanks. Salty Reef, I know you got multiple. Melly Mel, I know you have multiple tanks. 3000, I know you have multiple tanks, man. Let's see if we can give people who like don't have tanks or is you know interested in getting uh, more than one tank? Uh, a couple of tips, man. If you guys are successfully running multiple tanks, would love to know any tips. Um, Rounded Rob gave a great one. He puts on the calendar when he does his wa water changes. It's very important. I um I, I definitely wanted to do this uh, topic because uh, really I just kind of come out just come out of nowhere with my topics, man. It's real unorthodox, but 3000 just went and cleaned the tank for, um, for a family member. And he was looking at it like, Whoa, this is crazy. So definitely tank maintenance is important. And then pestotics is, um, is, uh, has, has, uh, done a new business 
uh, multiple aquariums. And I'm going to give you guys that dot com uh, directly a little bit later on in the stream. So uh, Streetwise, thanks for coming through, man. Appreciate you for coming through, y'all. Um, so any tips that you can give people that have multiple tanks or you know, interested in getting more tanks. That's what we're looking at right now so that we can kind of educate, you know, everybody um, from people who have had a long running of successful multiple tanks. And it's definitely, it's definitely a difference when you have like 10 gallons. Um, I have the 75 and the 60 here, which are significantly bigger than 10, but you know, maintenance is still going to be the same, but it just sometimes takes more, sometimes takes less depending on, you know, the type of fish that you have also. So, yeah, we're going to see what that's about. Uh, got a bunch of Nanos and uh, Picos. Okay. Uh, Streetwise has a bunch of Nanos. So the way that he maintains his multiple tanks could be different than somebody who has Predator Fish or something like that. See, see if we can get someone like that in the stream. Uh, Joe Munoz has 27 aquariums. 27 aquariums. Munoz, we're going to have to. We definitely need to talk to you, G. See what you got going. And three barrels. That's 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 uh definitely need a maintenance schedule, says Salty Reef. So he agreed with Rounded Rob in that aspect. Three tanks upstairs on Tuesday, 125 on Wednesday, and the rest on Thursday. Uh on Thursday, Larry D, how many is the rest? Uh so Larry D already has his in a routine. Uh, one thing for me is to try to run all my tanks the same way. Um, all wall style style. Okay. So he runs all his tanks the same way, says Streetwise. That's very smart, man. That way, um, you can, you can, uh, do your maintenance the same way since all your tanks are running the same way. That's perfect. Uh, maybe elaborate a little bit more Streetwise on, um, the way you got things set up, like when you say the same way, how's how's your setup? <laughs> Joe said, "What I got is a lot of work." <laughs> Joe got a lot of work. Got that work. <laughs> uh, four on Thursday and have eight running. Says Larry D. That's a lot of tanks, man. Twenty-seven. That's a lot of tanks. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's real serious right there. That's real serious right there. Pestotics, if you're in here, um, toss me a. Uh, let me know you're in here. All right, Streetwise chimes in. All organic soil, capped in sand. Oh, capped with sand and gravel. Tons of plants, all lights are the same, scale to size, and on the same schedule. That's great. Okay, that's great. So he has the same substrate in all tanks, and he has the lights on the schedule. Uh, the light part has really helped for the algae, which is this is great. Yeah, um, as soon as you get a, a algae bloom, um, you're going to have to jump in maintenance on that tank there. And um, it could take a minute. It could definitely take a minute. So we are definitely, uh, that's very important part. So uh, scheduling, very important. Um, some sort of light routine maintenance is very important, which I don't have, but I, um, I usually don't turn the light on too much. And my light just popped on. I don't really don't turn my light on too much. Uh, that often, the most that I use is the uh, night mode, which is a very dim lighting. And uh, I usually just kind of turn it on. Like if I have people come through and want to see the tanks, then I'll definitely throw it on max. And it may be on max for a while. Um, other than that, at nighttime, I definitely put it in night mode. But I'm about to start putting it into just off. Just just turning it off. All right. Because um, you also got to think about when you get multiple tanks, think about your electric bill. Think about your water bill. I mean, you got your electricity running. If you have big tanks, that could be upwards of five, six, eight hundred watts um, going. So you really want to. It's the maintaining of the tanks that that really uh, comes in. Uh, Pestotics, I have four tanks and making space for more. All right, that's what's up. Roadhouse, thanks for coming through. Watching from Clearwater, Florida. 
Thanks for coming through, Florida. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. I know the time um, is different there, so I definitely appreciate Roadhouse. The stream is better than WWE Raw right now. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. I haven't even looked at uh, at uh, wrestling um, thus far since the uh, pandemic. I just thought it was just time out for all sports. I'm just sitting here just looking at myself like, what am I going to do? Uh, Roadhouse, um, how many tanks do you have? Uh, you have multiple tanks, and if so, what's your uh, what's your setup like? What's your routine? Um, Salty Reef, I use the Kiss method for my setups. Keep it simple. Keep it stupid simple. I think the simplest setups are the easiest to maintain, in my opinion. I agree, Salty Reef. Definitely agree with that. Uh, what's your setup looking like over there, Salty Reef? And and you have salt salt water tanks, so. Um, I know a lot of people on here have fresh water, so uh, let's see what your routine is, if it's any different. You feel me? Uh, Joe Mio says, all African cichlids, with the exception of a monster tank with the Gars and the Paku. Oof. Ooh. 3,000 had a Paku. That sucker was getting huge. And every time I go to Malawi Aquatics, that Paku does not seem to lose any weight. That thing just gets bigger and bigger. It's, it's like the truck of fish. That thing looks like it could take a beating and keep on ticking, you feel me? Um, plus the aquariums uh, I take care of for my clients, says Joe Munoz, and my tilapia breeding group. Yeah, so yeah, you you rocking over there. And you got tilapia breeding, so that's real. That's real. Um, I've really been... I've really been a, a, a bad fish parent in most cases ever, well, since since the uh, pandemic because it's just been super lazy. I'm not sure if you guys are were able to catch. Um, I was a um, special guest on Science Gal Aquatics. Um, if you guys um, have subscribed to her or haven't checked her out, it's it's Science Gal, C-I-N-C-E. Uh, and I'm not even typing S C I N C E G A L Aquatics. She's out in Rolla, Missouri, and she had me. Um, she had me uh, as a special guest, and that was the first time I was like a special guest on somebody's um, platform. And I kind of was like, <laughs> I was watching it back. And I kind of just kind of like kept talking and uh, kind of overlapped a little bit. So I kind of, if she was in here, I definitely apologize to her because uh, I was just kind of venting and going and, you know, she was asking questions and answering. I was asking questions. It seemed like pretty cool though. We just kind of was like shooting the breeze, but uh, she's definitely a pleasure to be around. If you guys didn't check out that, that live, uh, go to science gal aquatics and uh, check her out and uh, check out that, um, that uh, me as a special guest. It was, it was pretty cool. Aqua Designs. Oh, thanks for coming through. My Paku East Pellets Fish and Oscar Mayer Winters. That's a fact. He's like a hog. This Man, those Paku get huge. Uh, Aqua Designs is around 30 tanks now. Um, I drain uh, through one set of hoses to my sump drain and then fill the python from the sink. And Python, I still do not have one, but everybody lives and dies by the Python. They love it. I still bucket my stuff out, um, which is still probably old school, but it's been working. So I'm just keep it going. Plus, I just I don't have 30 tanks. I don't have 30 tanks. Uh, I use my I used to feed my Paku hot dogs too. Joe says 3000 salty says. Two salt water tanks, two fresh water tanks currently, all running once, uh, all running on sumps, simple filtration, both fresh water tanks heavily planted with sand substrate and DIY lighting. And he does weekly changes. Okay. Uh, Salty Reef says every Sunday. I was just about to ask, what day of the week do you do it every Sunday? Perfect. Uh, yes, Fishy Biz, I was going to do a Lake Tan Unique and African Cichlid tank. I decided to push it back to 2021. Now I'm going with the 40 gallon breeder, rosy red minnow, celestial pro Danios, and white clouds. It's going to be a beautiful tank. Melly Mel, man, keep me updated. I definitely want to check that out. 
especially a 40 breeder with all those all those fish in there. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I have I have the 75 gallon, I have the 60 gallon, I have the 40 gallon, and I have this 29 gallon guppy tank, and I have the 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 15 bow out, which is which has guppies in it, and is my planted tank, which I really. For those of you guys who have plants, mine are starting to melt, and I don't know what I'm, you know, and they're coming back, and then some of them are, like, melting off. Is that normal? And then do I feed the plants anything, or do they just kind of eat, like, you know, the weight, waste that the guppies do, or when the guppies die, did they go into the substrate, and then they have plants feed off kind of like the great circle of life, like uh, Simba, I mean, Mufasa was telling Simba. When he was like, Dad, but we eat the antelope. He's like, yes, son. But when the antelope die, they go into the earth. And then the earth makes the plants and the antelope eat the plants. And then we eat the antelope. And then when we die, we go into the dirt. So is that like the same thing? Because I just came and kind of letting it go. Like, is there plant food? I'm pretty sure there is. If there is, what's the best type of plant food? I've got some swords. I've got some crypto. I've got some... No, I got, I got, I got that. So, what do you got? Plant people, let me know. What's good? Um, what I need to get to kind of, kind of get it going. And then, do I cut the plants that are dying off, and then the new plants will come in booming, or do I just let them fall off and melt into the water? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Joe, those kosher hot dogs. <laughs> Uh, uh, when I got my plants, they melted back and came back. Okay, cool. So I can let it, I can let it smooth out right on salty. Um, are you using root tabs? They're the best. Um, somebody sent me some root tabs, but they sent them to the school and I think I left them there when I went and, and got everything. Cause I had to hurry up and pack everything up and get it out of there. So I think I left the root tabs, but this is like the third time somebody said root tabs. Now, do I just go out and buy those? Um, I don't know. I'll just call Pestotics. I'll call him up and order me some. I'm pretty sure he has some. Um, root tabs. Does it matter any kind or do you just do you plant them or do you just drop them in? Because they look like big, thick as algae wafers is what they look like. You know, I'm so used to cichlids. Everything look like an algae wafer. I just toss it in. Uh, Streetwise, it is an inert substrate. You might want some easy green. Okay. Okay. I'm looking into that. Uh, everyone who visits me says it's the biggest Paku they've ever seen. All right, Joe. Hey, I need you to take a picture, send it to my uh, fishy, send it to my Instagram so I can um, measure them up with uh, the one at Malawi because that's the biggest one I've ever seen. You definitely, when, what size tank do you have them in? Is that the, I think you just said your tank size, but what size tank do you have them in? Uh, melting is is natural if the plant was grown out of the water. Okay, so all my plants are underwater. Unless when the water gets low, I definitely fill it back up. But um, I definitely see melting. Then I see some new growth of the plants. So that's why I really haven't been messing with it. But I definitely wanted to ask some expert people who've been doing those. Uh, root tabs are good. It's a salty reef. Do I plant the root tabs? Anybody? Or do I just throw them in? Uh, show your planted tank. <sighs> okay. Uh, Mr. 3000, good here. Monica Lynn. What up, Monty? Monica Lynn, y'all. Uh, get you some root tabs at PetSmart. They go deep in the substrate. Okay. Ordering them online says 3000 with a dirt substrate is like a rechargeable battery for the substrate, but your fish waste accumulates. Um, you can get some decom going. Okay. Streetwise, my man, appreciate it. Uh, he's in a 300 gallon says Joe. Is he in? Ooh. If he in there by himself, he has the run of the 300. He's probably, Oh my God. He's probably a beast. Uh, let me turn the light on on this on this planet tank. I'm 
All right, it's not bad. Let's see. All right, there she is. Oh, snap. I didn't notice the snails were the snails are all over the leaves. So wait a minute. God, them snails are tearing my tank up. I really hadn't turned the light on this thing in a while. What the frick? So wait a minute. These snails are 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 killing my plants. They're not helping. Is this what is this what I'm looking at? Am I looking at death to my plants right now? They got holes in them like um like uh like little bitty nicks like like lettuce when rabbits get a hold to it. It's a lot of snails in there. Oh I gotta do something. It's hella snails, y'all. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so this is the very first snail problem I've ever had. Like, I'm just, I'm not even used to snails. I thought they were like, you know, part of the uh, community. But uh, I see why people say they're pests. Because if this, if they're tearing my plants up, then I really need to uh, get them up out of there, give them to my clown loaches. What's up with them snails, yo? I got to get them out of there? What are we talking about? I mean, this is my first time seeing holes in my plants. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What did I miss? <laughs> I'm a bad plant tank owner, y'all. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Put your root tabs under the substrate once a month. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep buying root tabs. They just don't last. I got the 29-gallon salt water tank set up and the 20-gallon tall river tank with the three black skirt tetras, two bueno Aries tetras, and one zebra danio says Melly Mel. Mains, tails, fur, and fins. Hey, my first time here. How long have you been into fish? And what kind do you like? Well, mains, tails, fur, and fins, thank you for joining the stream. I really appreciate it. Um... I am African cichlid keeper, uh, mostly peacocks, uh, mostly OB, um, but I do have uh, fluorescence and dragon bloods and sulfur heads and some red shoulders. And I have these little groups here, are all ruby red iceberg hybrids. So that's what I'm into right now. I do have two tanks that have guppies. One is Guppy Land, which is uh, thriving really well with uh, three golden dojo loaches. And you just saw my planted tank that is getting harassed by these damn snails. Damn, I'll have to do something about that. Um, uh, mains, tail, fur, fins. How many tanks do you have? We're talking about uh, maintaining multiple tanks successfully. What do you have? What do you like? And um, tell, tell us about uh, your setup. What's your routine? Streetwise says most plants will have an immersed form uh, when they grow in air and then will transform into immersed form when they get in the water. Uh, those snails are only eating what is already dead. Ah, thank you, Streetwise. Man, it, hey, look, it pays to know people that know stuff, man, because I would have freaked out. The snails will eat the already dead plants and salty wreath. So that's two right there. Punchy pains. What's a pam? What's cracking? What's cracking, Punchy? Oh, get some furts. Okay. Uh, there's an episode of Meat Eaters in Netflix uh, where they're catching flaming red paku. Check it out. What? Meat Eaters? Okay. I'm going to check that out. Oh, I'm going to check that out anyway. Sounds great. Uh, I've never seen a red a red before. Okay, feed them to the cichlid, says 3,000, those snails. Pea puffers will take care of the snails. All right, Larry Deed, but do I need to get those guppies out of there before I throw the pea puffers in? That's my only question because I would have been put some pea puffers in there. I just was uh, probably needed to catch those guppies and put them back in guppy land. 
Um, P Puff or Assassin Snail says Salty Reef. Punchy says Escargot, which I know the real pronunciation is cargo, but I love to say the other part, like instead of Moscato <laughs> or Moet, <laughs> Escargot. Uh, the Zen Ginger is here. What's up, Mandy? Mandy, Pandy, Randy. What's up, Zinger? How you doing? The Zen Ginger's here, y'all. <laughs> uh, KFC Aquariums, man. Thanks for coming through, lurking through. Um, holes in plants usually mean they're not getting enough uh, micro and macro nutrients. Okay, so... I do probably need to feed the plants. I'm feeding the guppies, but I might need to feed the plants. Uh, use snail population as a metric for whether you are overfeeding or not. Okay, explain um, streetwise. Um, so a lot of snails means that it's overfeeding or the opposite. Mains, tails, furs, and fins. What part of the country are you in? I have 17 inside, mainly 10s and 20s. And 300 gallons outside, guppies, betas, and angels. Angels, uh, mains, tails, fur, and fins. I am in St. Louis, Missouri, Midwest, baby, all the way. Uh, where are you at? Where are you from? You say you have 300 gallons outside, so I'm thinking you're somewhere tropical, maybe. Zinger says she is fabulous. I hope you are too. Yeah, I'm living the life. <laughs> I'm living the life. Okay, so Louisiana, all my people are from Louisiana. What part of Louisiana? My people are all from Shreveport, Maine, Stains, Fur, and Fins. Shreveport, Louisiana, been to New Orleans eight times. Just drive down and just kick it, man. I love Louisiana. What a burger. Oh my God. Kroger. Y'all still got Kroger's down there. Uh, Y'all got Crystals, which is. We got White Castles. I, I, I still like White Castles over Crystals, but everybody from down south swears by Crystals, I guess. Bozier, what? All right, Main Stains for Fences, Bozier City, baby. All right, I know exactly where Bozier is. Ah, you good peoples. I'm with it. I'm already with it. Thanks for coming through. That's what's up. Man, it's Kim folk right there. Not sure pea puffers will play nice with guppies. Try assassin snails or yo-yo loaches. Ooh, yo-yo loaches. I can get a, get a new loach. I like that. I love loaches. That'll work. I can definitely do that right on, Larry D. Appreciate that. KFC said I, he had to downsize fish room from 11 tanks to five since he got a new dog. Oh, KFC, that's blasphemy. Oh, hey, downsizing from 11 to five. That sounds heartbreaking. Oh, man, that, that. Man, let's see if I have a, a, a horn sound. Let me see. This is for KFC. Oh, downsize, man. <laughs> One more time. Oh, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. <clears throat> I'm be honest with you. I actually, I actually had to put up my 10 gallon and my um, 15 bow out, um, and just consolidated them all into the 60 gallon because they were just really the same fry from different parents, just growing out in different um, tanks. So I put them all to grow out in the 60. And some of these bigger ones, these peacocks, I'm going to have to end up putting them in the 75. And I think I'm going to get rid of uh, a couple of my 75 guys, uh, some of my older ones, so I can make way for some new and improved. I, I'm really wanting to do a, like an OB all tank. Uh, hey, Thirsty Rabbit all the way from the... <laughs> from the down under. Thank you for coming through, Thirsty, man. Appreciate you. Uh, the snails will multiply with excess food. Uh, you will also make sure you give those plants enough light too. And that's, I have had the light off for a few days now, so I might need to leave that light on a little bit more. So thanks Streetwise. Appreciate that for real. 
Um, close to Elm Grove says Main uh, Main's Tales Fur and Fence. Okay, I got you. I already got you. Um, my mom and dad were both teachers, so when I was in school, they're both from Shreveport, Louisiana. My mom is from Mansfield, actually. My dad is from Shreveport, and we got to pass through Bossier City all the time. But I spent most of my life summers, winter breaks. Sometimes even on the weekend, they would just get if, if they had Friday off, you know, as teachers, they get pretty much the same dates off um, and we would get out of school. So we would drive. We would drive from St. Louis to Shreveport, Louisiana, man. And I, I, I all this, every summer we would be down there because all my aunts, uncles, cousins, all of them are down there since both my parents grew up down south. So I would spend summers down there, winter breaks down there, Christmases, all of that stuff. So. We grew up. My my uh, grandmother has um, had some land, and we uh, would go there and shoot off fireworks, guns, catch crawfish, do broils. So Louisiana is like second home for me. I love it. Crawfish jambalaya. That's right, Monica. They do it best down south. You better know it. Forty four mag guy. Thanks for coming through. M multiple tanks. Forty four mag. What you got? What's your setup? What's your routine? Um. I say, uh, I bet you aren't missing the humidity we have right now. Come visit. Oh, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. Louisiana humid and St. Louis humid is totally different, at least in Louisiana. Yeah, it's humid, but you have a, like a country air. It's more it's more um, earthy. It's trees. It's a little more breezy. Here, this heat just sticks on you like the sun it's just, it leans on you in St. Louis. It's just like this, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm here all day. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. You better go inside, but he's just sitting on your back. <laughs> no wind, anything. It's all bad. <laughs> 44 Mad Guy says he has one. Dan Slee slams glee. Thanks for coming through, G. Appreciate it, man. We're talking about multiple tanks. What's your routine to clean them out? Um, you know, feeding them, you know, lighting them. What is your routine for that and maintenance on your multiple tanks? Only if you're successfully, successfully maintaining multiple tanks. You don't really got to successfully maintain it. If you've had some issues maintaining, we want to know those too, so we can make sure that we get them corrected. Wow, I'll keep mine. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, how many tanks do I have? I have 60 gallon, it's one, 75 gallon, this is two, uh, the 40 gallon, it's three, the planet, it's four, and then guppy land. I forgot about you. <clears throat> That's five. I don't have the lights on on Guppy Land. Let me turn the lights on. This is what actually got me loving guppies. I had to bring a tank down from um, the school that I work at. And now I have guppies. And I have some actual plants in there also. So they're actually striving and doing really well. So there you go. So how many is that? That's five right now, up and going. Two, four, five. It's five up and going. Um, if you look over there, it's my bow out. That's going to be my um, new grow out for new um, for new fry. They're going to all grow out in there until they get um, big enough to jump into the sixty, where they'll grow out some more, and then. The pretty ones are going to the 75, the more beautiful ones. 
and um, they'll actually get sold out of there um, for my LFSs or anybody who would like to purchase some beautiful OBs or some iceberg ruby reds. Big J, Fish Keeper, thanks for coming through. We're talking about multiple tanks and how do you do? What's your routine on keeping your multiple tanks and what you got in them? Oh, she spit. She spit the babies. She spit the babies. Oh, oh. Shit. Ugh. So I had my peacock in here, and she spit her babies. I don't know if you can see these little guys. There they go. Now, hopefully, she was holding my. Uh, she was holding the um, my beautiful yellow and blue ob male. So hopefully these come out to be some buttes. But yeah, she definitely spit them. There they go. Oh, she got the babies. Yay. All right. I was waiting on her to spit. Time for her to eat. You can eat, mama. Because he's going to make you hold again. He's ready. I got a bull in there, baby. He's ready. So it looks like I'll be setting up that bow out a lot quicker than I uh, expected. So that'll be tomorrow's job. Fill that puppy up, get that filtration going. Um, and uh, those babies will go in there. And once I get another holder, I'm going to throw that in there too. So we're going to do that. Where was I at? Let me go up, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, Dan Slee, nine tanks. About to change, though, dramatically to 30 plus. Ooh. Dan Slee, what's that project about? Run us through it. Get us engaged, Dan Slee. Longtime friend of the uh, stream. Um, lights, bro. I don't have enough lights for all my tanks, says um, Thirsty Rabbit. So um, his thing for multiple tanks is getting lights, and I understand that completely. If ever I'm looking and they say, oh, we have these LEDs, and I'm selling them, this, and the other, you definitely want to check those out. Heat leans on you in St. Louis. <laughs> uh, I have not been in a while, Monica. Um my grandfather passed. He was like my last granddad um, of all my grandparents. So he passed and I was down there for that. And um, I actually went down there for my cousin's wedding. That was maybe a couple of years ago. So, yeah, about a couple of years ago, I've been back in the, in, um, in Shreveport. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to connect LED strips together to one power source. That makes sense, Thirsty Rabbit. Hope you figure that out for real. What you got in the cup, yo? Uh, a little turkey soda. You know what I'm saying? I got a little uh a little more of that um Herador. A Herador tequila. You already know. I uh, love the aerator and the guppy tank. Thank you very much. Rally's in the place, y'all. Fish keeping Jamaica. The picture got way better with the lights on. Okay, good. Man, I want to make sure that those. But my thing is, is I think the lights are just better in my 75 gallon. Either that or just the colors pop on my fish a little bit better because it always looks a lot di different and decenter than a 60. You can only see my, you can only see my, uh, my uh, peach boy in there. Um, there's multiple ponds count. <laughs> yes. 
how do you keep your multiple ponds together? Uh, <laughs> Thirsty says same ops live action. Um, you sound like a little boy. <laughs> hey man, I'll be happy when my when my uh, peacocks spit on their own. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I told you to leave it set up. I know, right? I know. I kind of just I had to take it down for a second, you know, and then I just put it back up. Uh, Dancely New Artist Studio has room for a rack of shrimp breeding and a few other tanks, 24 10 gallons. Oh, for Cardinia to start. That's oh, okay, Dance Lee. I'm with that. That sounds pretty good. Big J, I have 45 ponds, tanks, and tubs. It's a three-day process taking care of all my fish. Big J, the fish keeper. That well is, <laughs> that name is well used. Jeez. Man, that's huge. Also got a very high power, high power bill with the huge multi-tanks, but that's okay. They keep me out of the pub and clubbing so cheaper in the end. That's right, Thirsty. I feel you. And a lot safer now. These clubs is packed full of COVID still. <laughs> wow. How much money you save just staying in? Now you can work on your tanks, man. It's, 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 it's good. It's good. Um, for those of you guys out there that have big tanks, man, not even big tanks, but just kind of my – you know, things to look out for for those of you guys who are just now getting into tanking or don't have multiple tanks or just really kind of was interested in it. Um, water clean. All right. Everybody that you've heard of thus far with tanks, um, they're talking about water changes. Clean water is most important because that's what the fish are swimming in. And they want to swim in clean water, even though they are in there having babies and um, defecating and doing all of that, you definitely got to have filtration and water changes. They got to be on a rig, got to do it on a rig, got to get a routine. Everybody's saying set a calendar, set a day. Um, you know, you choose Sundays, boom, make it Sundays. If you're, if you have on the calendar when you did your change, make sure that it's on a rig. Um, make sure that all your fish needs are met. And, um, yeah, yeah. That 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 is all big 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 stuff that need to to worry about it. Uh, how long have you been YouTube and Mains Tales Fur and Fence? Now, this coming up January, it'll be two years. So last January was like my first video, and this coming up January will be my second year as as a YouTuber. As a YouTuber, been keeping fish for quite some time. Um, I am a biology teacher by trade, so I uh, teach biology and I have fish tanks in the classroom because I believe that that is more of a aesthetics for students, especially high school students, wrong books, freshmen that I teach. Um, they usually get into it and, and, you know, want to feed them and know all about them. So I was like, you know what, let me just. Let me see what the YouTube thing is talking about. So set up a channel and almost two years later, here I am. Uh, I have to spread my water changes out as my hot water system will not handle all in one day. That's real, too. That's real, too. Um, when you guys do your water changes, I know with cichlids, um, you know, their water ranges. I usually keep mine fairly high, like 77 and above, um, because the presence of ick uh, does not like warmer water and i have been blessed not to have any in these tanks but when i do do water changes i definitely do cold and like, cold and hot and make it uh warm make it warm and i do that until about the last maybe eight percent and then i fill the fill the other eight percent with straight cold water and I was told that if you if you shock them a little bit with the cold water, not much, um, it throws them into a um, it throws them into a uh, a breeding frenzy. So you'll see them 
kind of coloring up and maybe, you know, starting to dance with some of the females and get those eggs in their mouth so that they could go ahead and brood and then fish puppies. You feel me? That's what I'm looking for. Fish puppies. Um, and fish in the classroom is great for ADH. Yes. Main stands, fur and fins. And if kids that have mild ADHD, ADD, I had it when I was a kid. I still have it. I, if you can tell, I'm all over the place at all times. But the aesthetics of a fish tank can work wonders for those students. Um, those students that, you know, are brash and, and, and they don't think they, you know, this, that, and the third will do what you want. Um, you sit them in front of a fish tank, man, and, and, and you'd be surprised at the stuff that they see that you didn't see. Be, they'll be checking it every day. They want to come in and, you know, pick out a fish. They get to name a fish. They get to take care of a fish. And um, that's like my whole plan, man. It's my whole plan is trying to get a tank in, in, in these students' uh, lives. Um, try to teach them the right way to do it when they first get fish, because when you first get fish, you know what I'm saying, and it dies, that kind of almost kind of kills your your joy. But if you know how to t take care of it, then, you know, you can have it thrive and you can get more and then you can start getting bigger tanks and it just becomes a whole thing. And then you'll be like us with 30 tanks, 24 tanks. Look, this is crazy how many tanks we got out here. Um, as a biology guy, I highly recommend reading Ecology of the Planet Aquarium. All right. That sounds good. Matter of fact, is that Diana Wallstad? I'll put that in my phone so I could <clears throat> either Amazon or half price books. I would definitely check it out. Diana Wallstad. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I mean, as a biology teacher yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Monica Lynn. Uh, maybe creating new fish keepers as well, definitely. Uh, you can even use it as a textbook. That'd be cool, too, because uh, once once they let us back in the class, I definitely plan on um, getting my aqua club started um, with my students after school and looking to give away plants and tanks and fish and getting them started. And as long as they know the ropes and how to clean, how to filtrate, how to water change, how to uh, condition. And that's where my uh, YouTube channel is going to curb a little bit, too. So I'm, I'm with that. And we need some younger, some young blood in the, in the hobby, man. And, and get these get these kids started, man, because they're creative. Next, you, you see Pimp My Tanks or something soon. You know what I'm saying? They'll have all kind of stuff going on in the tanks, you know, all kind of themes and stuff. They, you know, these kids can do it, man. They can do it. Don Gallagher, what's cracking? Thanks for coming through. I haven't seen Don G in a minute. What's up, man? <clears throat> uh, how many tanks you have, uh, Don Gallagher? We're talking about multiple tanks that are successfully ran and maintained. You have them all on one. Do you clean them all the same day? I mean, with me with five tanks, um, and still I'm lazy. So, but what I do is I spend most of my time on my 75 gallon and my 60 gallon. And then um, I might the next day work on the on the little guys like the guppy tanks. It really don't take too much, too much. But my 75 and the cichlids, geez, they are some dirty fish. All they do is poop all day. I've got this huge pleco in here. He'd be wilding. Um, and uh, I just have to spot check it, man. They 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 they. Uh, and sometimes I'll just run the vacuum through. I'm starting to run the vacuum through maybe every every couple of days. For myself and he is uh he's a beast in there. I just have like a large amount of dude. You do not want the problems with that pleco. You keep keep nipping at him. He's going to headbutt you. It's gonna be over for you, Royal Blue. Straight up. And when did you yeah, he was just running from the sulfur head? I had to take the sulfur head out and for like two weeks. Sulfur head was running the tank. The sulfur head had more than half of the tank that was all his. And all the rest of my fish were over there, and they couldn't get past this point. The sulfur head was just running stuff. Boom. Then, and that's another thing, you guys have got to take your bullies out of your tank. 
quickly, all right? Or you're going to have nicks and, and fin, fin nips and all kinds of stuff from that bully. And all your pretty fish that you paid for, you got to repair them. You got to meal of fix and salt them, and they got to repair their fins and stuff because they looked all beat up. So I didn't know he was doing that. And then I kind of did, but then I was like, dude, all of y'all, y'all not going to do anything about this? And they don't. They don't do anything about it. And they're either bigger than him or, or just his size. I don't know what, what happens with that. But I take him out. I, I took him out for maybe about three days, put him back in. He was still rowdy. I was like, oh, my God. Boom. Took him out for another week and a half. I had him in the 40 by himself until I went and grabbed some more fish. So I had to put them down there. So. I put him in a breeder box. He hated it. I put him in a breeder box, sat him right in here, and let him watch life without him. You know what I'm saying? You no longer have the run of the tank. You get to sit in this breeder box and just look at life happen in the fish tank. Did that, changed the decor totally, um, um, cleaned out the tank completely, changed the decor, and as I was putting more water in, um, after the water change, I eased them into the tank. He's looking around the tank like, man, what is going on here? And he has been okay. But now look at him. Look at him. Now he's back chasing people around. This was looking really nice. He's been flared up. My Royal Blues flared up. This is Lockjaw. If you don't know who Lockjaw is, go check some of my uh, videos out. He does not have a top lip. He just has a bottom jaw. And he's sired quite a few of my... Uh, of my, uh, it's like an iceberg ruby red German strain. And uh, if you look at his face, show your face, there he is. I'll just call him a log jaw. He's just got that bottom jaw there, little fella. Yeah, it's Pleco time over there. When Pleco gets rowdy, oh man, if I throw some food in here, Pleco will get rowdy if he don't get his, he got to get his off the top. He don't get his off the top. You'll see him slamming into the heater and all kinds of stuff. He's not messing around with him. But yeah, so I really want to kind of <clears throat> fill fill the seventy five out with um, with some beautiful color uh, OBs. Since in St. Louis, that's what seems to be big sellers. People really like those colorful OBs. But I also want to get some albino dolphins. I think those would be good. Peplin Creek Aquatics, thanks for coming, man. Appreciate you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Don Gallagher, our lack of space keeps my ETS in check. Gotcha. MTS, yes. Uh, yes, Don Gallagher. And you know what keeps my MTS in check? My wife. <laughs> If you get another mother in tank, <laughs> I'm like, babe, look, I'm taking two tanks down. Thank God. Boom. It was the two smallest tanks, right? Put them all in the 60. But look, I had to set it up again. But <laughs> uh, what you don't know. <laughs> So that's that's still gonna be. I, I gotta have a breeder. I gotta have a breeding tank and then a quarantine tank too. So those have to go back up. But yeah, uh, for those that don't know what um, MTS is, your multi tank syndrome. So yeah. Um, all right, Larry D. Appreciate you for coming through, man. Thank you for all of your comments. Um, and have a great night. I appreciate it. Uh, I know how one of the big YouTube fish keepers can make everyone crazy. Use their garage for parking cars. <laughs> yeah, people have turned their garages to some awesome fish uh, fish rooms. Me, I have a fish wall. I just this back wall just has my tanks at it. That's that's cool. I got that. Uh, my husband is the same way, says mains, tails, fur, and fence. Yeah, man, they just don't get it. They don't get it, but she has her little addiction. She does creative, you know, T-shirts, and she puts decal on cups and all of that jazz. And um, I don't touch her stuff. 
Don't tell her to stop buying fabric. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, what color are your wife's plates? Uh, and Molly's in a 40 gallon planted tank. That sounds like, oh, and Don Gallagher. Okay, a nice active tank. <clears throat> Uh, the foot has spoken. I know uh, what you mean. I got in trouble for 48 hours after my last buy. I know, thirsty, isn't it? It's crazy, right? And you think, like, it's so weird, man, because you get your first tank. Like, my 60 gallon was my first tank. I was like, man, this is a huge tank. And then you start watching YouTube and you see people with 125 gallons. I was like, dude, that's just huge tank. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But then you start wanting to put more and more stuff in. And then fish don't go with other fish, but you really want that fish. So you're like, you, I got I to gotta find another tank. Then you figure out how big that fish gets and how many you do want to put in there. So that brings on the 75. Is he? I might have to put him in time out again, man. Ah. Uh, and yeah, so the thing that saved me though is since I have a classroom, um, I'm able to set up tanks there and nothing's really, really said. The only problem is, is <laughs> I've got three tanks set up in the class and now COVID hits. Now I'm like, uh, I gotta, <laughs> where all these tanks come from? Uh, they're going back <laughs> whenever they let us into school, baby. <laughs> Please, baby, 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 please. I got a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, man. We're in the process of turning the garage to a fish room to grow out more corals. Corals. Oh. Ah, Priscilla. What's cracking, Priscilla? Thanks for coming through. Hey, that's Priscilla, y'all. Priscilla MK right there, baby. We talking about tanks and everything else. You already know Priscilla how we do over here, man. Hey, everybody, check out Priscilla. She's <laughs> she is cool. <laughs> she definitely is cool. Uh, well, I have horses, cows, and fish along with cow dogs and a barn cat. Says man, boy, you got a lot going on over there, mains, tails, fur, and fins. But hey, you in Louisiana? You got the room for it down there, baby. That's what's up. Oh my God, I'm more. Oh. I haven't rode a horse in so long. Ah, uh, I miss down south. Uh, yeah, that 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 that's uh, that's great. You've got it. You've got it. You've got a regular thing going on down there. Uh, at Salty Reef, make a video and post it and post it backwards. Save it for April. Says Streetwise. Three thousand. I remember when you got that sixty gallon. A star was born. That's what's up, homie. <laughs> Uh, Salty Reef, I plan on doing a bunch of videos on the whole process. That's what's up, Salty. Uh, Thirsty, I understand her, but I got two black nasties at two fifty dollars each. But she understands now that they are fish I've wanted over 20 years and the first ones I've ever seen down here. But you got to get it, man. Thirsty, you work hard, man. You work hard. You go and you work a job and you work hard and, and, and you want what you want when you want it, man. And you, if you're able to get it, you should be able to get it. And there should be no questions asked because you work hard, man. You work hard and you should be able to play hard. But you can't because she don't want you to have tanks. And it's not fair because it's my money and I can do what I want to do with it. It's my money and I want it now. Damn you, J.G. Wentworth. It's my money, and I want it now. <laughs> Different colors, Monica. Really nice planted platies. Orange, yellow, yellow. Molly's. I'm having a garage for my... I like having a garage for my car, though, so tanks are spread throughout the house. Uh, but I am trying to consolidate to the basement and kitchen and office and... Oh, Monica Lynn is killing it. She's about to do it big. 
uh pastotics is still there and i know i'm an hour and five minutes in man and i usually kind of take off around now but i'm i'm loving the uh conversations in here man um priscilla thanks drew we gotta we gotta go to aquashella again yes priscilla when they open up the states but i heard that texas is relapsing i think they're shutting it down again and they were supposed to have aquashella in dallas yeah i'm scared of that um chicago is the other Aquashella. I know they're probably postponing it, but um yeah, I, I I've got I've got too many kids and family to be trucking around, messing around at the at the Aquashella. Hopefully not to bring something back. So hopefully when they uh reopen it, everything will be cool, man. Cause I we definitely got to do the Aquashella again. Good times, definitely good times. Um Diego from Pestotics. Hold on, I want to talk about you real quick. Uh, what did I miss? Going to do a large reef tank, haven't decided 100% on the exact size yet, either a 350 or a 450. I would love to see Priscilla and Fishy Viz again and everyone else at Spestotics. Thank you, Diego. You too, homie. Uh, do what you want, Biz. <laughs> uh, would you want a bigger tank? If so, what would you put in there? All right, 3,000. I'm, I'm going to let you know that in a minute. Easier to ask forgiveness than permission, says, th thank you, Thirsty. I definitely, I definitely, yes, that is that is the same. Uh, Facebook for Monica at Don Gallagher. I was going to try to go uh, to the Dallas one and keep your fingers crossed. Man's Tales, Fur and Fins, yeah. Um, hey, at me, um, Add me on Instagram at Fishy Biz Aquatics, Man's Tales, um, Fur and Fin, so we can keep in contact because I definitely <clears throat> want to uh, talk to you, fellow Louisianan. Um, will be dope. Uh, next year, probably, says Priscilla. Um, 3000 asks, um, what, what's the next size tank? Oh, I think it'll be, I think it'll be. Well, maybe like a 125. I know it gets bigger every time you start talking about it, but maybe like a 125. And I'm not, I'm not real sure. Is that a fire alley? Man, they color. No, that's my bad. Um, not sure what I want to put in it yet. I see. I don't know whether to go bigger. You always got to go bigger, but you don't necessarily, you get a bigger tank, but you don't have to go bigger fish necessarily. Because if you do predator fish, they get super big and you can't have that many. And I, I really just don't want to have a species tank. But I tell you what I would do, I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't mind having a 125 gallon full of albino dolphins. I, man, <laughs> my albino dolphins are so cool. They look like little mini beluga whales, man. They are, and they're exotic. And they're hard to get, and I wouldn't mind them breeding and selling because out the, they are super cool. Um, and I could probably find some regular blue dolphins to go in there with them. But I just like those dolphins. You know, I like those dolphins. I should have took your dolphins that you that you took to the uh, pet shop, but I didn't. <clears throat> so, um, and I know that might just seem like average and regular for a one twenty five. Um, but I changed my mind so much, you guys. I see different fish all the time, and I'm like, you know what? I should get that. I wonder if it goes with this. Um, but I will. This 75 gallon, you'll start seeing it change over to a straight OB peacock, and I'm trying to fill that puppy up with some beautiful colors. I just like real popping colors and uh, a colorful tank, and I think those OBs will get me there quicker. Then trying to do like two yellow labs here and three red empresses or something like that. Um, so yeah, Don Gallagher, I love uh, Crabenzas. Is it at Fishy Biz on Instagram? So yeah, it's going to be Fishy Biz Aquatics two Z's on the Biz uh, Main Tales Firm Fins. So the same way it is um, on the stream, Fishy Biz Aquatics. Uh, small shrimp tank says streetwise. Uh, pestotics. I try to give you those dolphins. Yeah, I know. 
I know. Um, uh, three thousand. I'm thinking about heading up to Petland sometime this week, bro. Um, matter of fact, I got something to tell you. I'm gonna call you after the stream, man. Guess who killed my OBs, man? Guess who killed my OBs and add, and begged me for my best ones? And just, bro, we got to talk, bro. I'm pissed. I really am. Um, man, what else are you talking about? Oh, so look, Pestotics, before everybody gets out of here, Diego from Pestotics has a new business and it's called, put it down there, Pestotics, for me. Yes, 3,000. Um, multiplequariums.com. Is it dot com? I just was on it. Oh, here. No, oh, no, that's not it. I was just on the site. Uh, Pestotics, if, uh, Diego, if you're in here, go ahead and, and, and plug it in there for me. Yes. Here it is, multipleaquariums.com. All right, sign up. Um, right now, you get 20% off um, with, the promo code, with the promo code. I keep hitting X, but I, I'm going to jump in there. It has a picture of Diego on there against his tanks. And um, like I said, this was kind of like the theme for my – I was talking to him earlier. This kind of was kind of preempted the theme of the stream. Um, multiple aquariums because uh, you just can't have one. So um, he's got plants. He's got conditioner. He's got everything that you need, man. He, here's his 10, 10 pack of root tabs. Um, Diego, I'm going to need some of those. I'm just letting you know that right now. Heaters, pellets, formula. Uh, he even has the uh, triple flow uh, filters, the corner filters, too. If you can't find those, he has those. Um, he even has an uh, aquarium maintenance scheduled out. Um, 65 for an hour. He has educational services. Um, that's He's got the whole – he's going across the whole gamut, man. And, and that's his new – that's his new dot com. In my, in my videos, he'll be in my descriptions. Um, and it'll link you straight to um, www.multipleaquariums.com and uh, definitely check him out. He said it's a relaunch from the old pestotics.com. So we are rolling with multipleaquariums.com. That is still Diego of Pestotics. And uh, it, it's pretty cool, man. To navigate through the, um, through the site is real simple, real easy. And uh, click on what you want. You'll get it sent to you. Um, I've purchased several things from Diego. I've not had a problem with anything that I've ordered. And uh, thank you, Monica. Monica is an awesome moderator. Appreciate you, sweetie. Thank you. Um, there it is right there, multipleaquariums.com. You guys can go on there and uh, get what you want. Get what you want. I want a 125 full of Madaka white lips. Oh, yeah. With the dolphin sounds, he makes, he definitely needs more dolphins. <laughs> well, Priscilla put it in the air. So if you guys haven't been blessed to, to hear the dolphin sounds, <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> Release the dolphins, baby. Release the dolphins. DMC Production, what up? Yes, better late than never. Yes. Yes, DMC Productions, thanks for coming through. We're talking about multiple tanks, man, and setting them up and maintaining them and what you got in them and stuff like that. So, hey, 3,000, if you had a 125, what you putting in it? I already know, but tell the people. I think I know. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pestotic said, let them know that the biz sent you. So um, whenever you go for an order, tell them uh, the biz sent you over there. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So I 
don't know what else I would get. I guess I, I just have dolphins on the, on the, on the mind since we saw that albino at the uh, at the at the last uh, at our last visit. But um, I'm going to go to a couple more spots. A and D, we need to go to uh, <clears throat> we need to go to Sullivan, Missouri. They got a pet store out there. I heard it's off the chain. And Springfield has an aquarium and Bass Pro Shop. They said it's pretty cool too. I wouldn't mind taking a drive, man. What is like 50 minutes from here? So that's just a turnaround. We could definitely do that. Get some footage and check out <clears throat> from a new uh, new area what kind of fish they have. So I'm down to ride. We could do that. Anything else to do? So yeah. Um. Listen, you guys. That that is that is. Uh, we we got some good information, some good comments here, um, and I think that uh, it's a host of information that we have on the stream. So, like I said, man, I, I'm, I'm gonna do live 9 p.m. on Mondays, um, and I'm trying to do every Monday unless I just like I'm doing something during the day and I just don't feel like it or something like that. But I'm trying to stay up on this, you guys. So that you guys have some place to go where we could just talk, chill, relax, you know, talk fish, talk anything else, whatever. Um, are you guys up for a death battle? I know they kind of they kind of hit me over the head with the copyright last time, but I don't care. Y'all want to see a death battle? Don't jump into the tank at Bass Pro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody death battling? Y'all want to death battle tonight? Let me see what's on the last Monday. We did Wonder Woman versus She Ra. I think they have Darkwing Duck on here. Let's see who he's battling. And then the Monday before that, we did um what did we do? We did Obi-Wan Kenobi versus um, what's Naruto sensei name? Um, Kakashi. That wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Death battle it is. So, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find a good one, y'all. Um. Vegeta versus the war. All right. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z versus versus Thor from Marvel. <laughs> it might go down, baby. It might go down. Hey. Let's check it out. See what we're looking like. Give me a second. See what we got going.
was quick. Uh, Thor made light work of Vegeta <laughs> on that one. <laughs> I didn't even take any bets on that one. <laughs> yes, I go with the Dragon Ball Z you got for the win. <laughs> That was all bad. <laughs> Might be hammer time, though, right? <laughs> Usually they last a little bit longer. I'm going to have to do another one next Monday. I'm, I'm, I'll be sure to get a, get a lengthy one. Um, oh, yeah, Mains, Tales, Fur, and Fins. Uh, Dub Battles one like my one of my uh, – well, me and my – kids love uh i love turning it on for them if i'm driving somewhere so i always tell them it's time for a death battle it's on youtube um don't spoil it for yourself though because i try to play some good ones here and try to get you know picks most of us are like 80s babies man older people so like they'll do he-man versus lionel from the thundercats we did that she-ra versus wonder woman um and they just kind of put put people together and, and just let them battle it out. So it's kind of like my sign signing off on Monday nights, man. So that, uh, you know, a little something that you can kind of chill out with. <laughs> That's why I don't gamble says DMC. <laughs> this looks like a bootleg movie on screen. I know. Right. Uh, just fed the axolotl or worm worm lost that death match. <laughs> Yep, yep. Hold on. Uh Mains Tales Fur and Fence, did you um did you hit me up on Instagram? Got a new let's see. I won't even say your real name on here, but JS. I'm just say JS, is that you? 315. I'm following you back if that's you. All right, Papa Smurf versus Orko from He Man. Is that one? Astro Boy versus Inspector Gadget. Is that one? Oh, snap. Oh, man. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm digging, I'm digging the Astro Boy versus, versus, uh, versus Inspector Gadget. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, it's not even one. Scrooge McDuck versus Shovel Knight. They got some stuff on here, y'all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man. So, anyone watch Robotech in the morning as a kid? Robotech. I don't think I remember Robotech. Oh, Thirsty Rabbit said he made it up. Man, that'll be cold, though. Inspector Gadget, he's nothing without Penny, though. He's such such a such a dunce. <laughs> he accidentally fights crime and wins, but he's got the dog and he's got Penny, man, and a computer book. Dude, <laughs> this was before computers came. I was still on a typewriter watching Penny in a computer book computer book unlock doors by pressing buttons in the computer book. Dr. Claw, yeah, absolutely. Man, yeah, we got some we got some stuff, man. We got some stuff. It's all gonna be right here, all on Fishy Biz Aquatics. Um, good stuff, man. It's good stuff. We're gonna do it, baby. Astro from the Jetsons versus Scooby Doo. I'm gonna say Scooby, because he's a whole great Dane. I think Astro was like a is Astro like a terrier? Or was he bigger than that? Is he like a German Shepherd, maybe? I know, and Astro probably has all those doohickeys and gadgets. Scooby-Doo scary, but still ends up ends up winning. He-Man versus She-Ra. They're like brother and sister. They I think they possess the same powers. They even got the same swords. But I think they made She-Ra a tad bit stronger than He-Man. Uh, she might edge him out. Uh, Thundercats versus He-Man Royal Rumble. Yeah, I played Thundercats versus He-Man like a couple months ago on the death battle. <laughs> huh. 
You got to go check that out. I don't even want to tell you one. <laughs> you might want to check that out. I hate the reboots, man. They 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 did um they redid She-Ra. She looks super animated. They redid Thundercats, super animated. Kind of like the way they did Teen Titans. Re-anim- the reboot of Teen Titans I actually kind of got into. I kind of like it even though it's way more cartoony than the regular Teen Titans, which I do not like. But they really screwed the pooch on um, on the Thundercats. Oh, my God. It's called Thundercats Roar. Oh, my. No, hold on. Let me just pull you out the trailer before we go. I, I am upset. They made it more like a Steven Universe. Uh Yeah, I'm upset with it. You say we watch a little video clip. Actually, I don't have any idea what this thing is. Let's see if it works like this. (laughs) Yep, guess it does. I'm watching this. Now that real, the real Thundercats. That thunder, 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 thunder. Yeah, now that's. Yeah, that's that's an intro you can set your watch to. You gotta love that. I played it too much. Heads up, we detected copyrighted audio and video in your stream. I knew they'd get me. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I will stay with the old school. I even make my son watch the old cartoons. Thank you, Mains, Tales, Fur, and Finn. So do I. Actually, I used to work for Circuit City. I bought all the box sets of Darkwing Duck, Gummy Bears, Thundercats, um, Silver Hawks, Voltron, and I was like, look, you guys are not going to watch this BS. You guys are going to watch some of these old joints, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, Tailspin, some of the some of the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let, you guys are going to rock with this because I, I, I cannot. <laughs> oh, man. Brown Hornet versus Inspector Gadget. No brown horn is gonna wreck him. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Power Rangers. Oh, I saw something like that. Um, I was watching Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he wrecked them. It was crazy, and it's it's one of the newer animated Batman movies. But if you kind of I don't know if you Fire Stick or whatever streaming thing you. If you put in Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it was cold blooded, man. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, a, it, was a, it was a good movie, definitely a good movie. Listen, y'all, I've been on for an hour and thirty minutes. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Um, I'll be back on Monday, nine p.m. St. Louis time, Central Time, Missouri time. Thank you for staying up with me as long as you can. And those who was on and those who are left. I really appreciate it. Listen, thank you for all your comments. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. It's Fishy Biz Aquatics, baby. Listen, stay healthy. Stay safe. The climate is crazy out here right now. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned, y'all. All right? I'm out. Peace.